I don't believe you, Mr. Anybody's. I cried all night. I only had a grapefruit cereal and a bald egg for my breakfast. And a few soldiers. Private phone calls. Oh, do you, Derek? Do you, Derek? Well, well, you just keep away from her, you hear me? That was Derek. Really? You were so formal, I thought it might have been the Lord Chancellor. Oh, Derek. <laughs> Oh, Miss Flood, have you ever been in love? I've had my moments, Hilary. Sometimes an experience can be so intense it burns itself out like a Roman candle. Mm. Derek's more like an old banger. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let me explain it again. You cannot divorce a man simply because he's Chinese. <laughs> you must have known he was Chinese when you married him, Mrs. <laughs> No, no, no. Inscrutability is not sufficient grounds for a divorce. <laughs> All right, I'll see what I can do, Mrs. Chan. Goodbye. <laughs> is it the world or is it me? Come in. Oh, hello, Hillary. How are you? Oh, I'm very well. Thank you, Mr. Chan. <laughs> Hillary, Hillary, this is not like you. What is it? It's my Derek. He's been sexually harassed. <laughs> Sorry, Hillary. It's his boss. She's using all her feminine wiles to lure him away from me and into her passionate arms. I see. She's had her wicked way with every man in that place, and now it's my Derek's turn. <coughs> well, actually, it's his friend Adrian's turn, but he's off on a course. <laughs> what's, what's she like, this lady? Mrs. Bracknell? Yes. Oh, she don't have anything I don't have, Mr. Callender. I mean, she's... Well, she's got more of it. <laughs> I found her cuddling Derek in the car park. Did he, uh, did he appear to be enjoying it? Oh, I couldn't see his face. She's a big woman. <laughs> this Mrs. Bracknell? Randy Sandy, they call her. Oh, she's old, Mr. Cullinder. She must be at least 40. Oh. <laughs> but if you could get her five years in Holloway, I'd be as happy as you are. <laughs> I wish there was something I could do to help you, oh, Hilary. That's but... right, Mr. Callender. Just talking helps. <laughs> do you mind if I say something? No. I think Mrs. Angel's really lucky to have you for a boyfriend. Thank you, Hilary. At least no older woman's going to throw herself at you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get my little popsy crying. What's the problem? Sexual harassment at work. I never touched her. <laughs> a comforting hand, maybe. A, a little lunch, perhaps, but nothing more. For heaven's sake, I'm a solicitor. Relax, Miles. You're in the clear. I should hope so. Really? Not that I haven't thought about it. <laughs> Listen, talking of popsies, you're looking unnecessarily cheerful these days. I don't want the details unless you want to tell me. I don't want to tell you. Oh. <laughs> Pin a solicitor in love tangle with gym teacher. You see, the imagination is so much better. <laughs> oh, no, hang on. Exhausted pin a solicitor in love tangle. <laughs> it's not like that at all. Oh, come on, Addict. Young girls these days are like the ones that we used to go out with. They don't need a ring on their finger, just the ring on the doorbell will do. <laughs> there speaks the shaky voice of experience. Now tell me, how is the daughter taking the new romance? With Valium. You see, I told you not to get serious, didn't I? Still, I'm sure there are compensations. Well... But you probably cracked that one already. No, no. <laughs> Knew you had. <laughs> it's not me, it is the world. <laughs> Sophie! 
Haven't you got a bicycle shed you can use? <laughs> in the abolition of school milk. They've got to take their nourishment when they can. <laughs> I hear there's much of you these days, Zoe. How's the divorce going? Oh, fine. <laughs> Only one complication. I've fallen for the solicitor. Straight out of true romance, except it's generally the gynecologist. <laughs> oh, dear, he isn't married, is he? Oh, Sonia, you know me better than that. Oh. No, widowed. Oh. He's 54. Oh, my Morris is 54. It's a lovely age. They get all pot bellied and cuddly. Sonia, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bless you. You're the only one who hasn't crossed herself and shouted unclean. <laughs> well, if you're happy, let the others rot. <laughs> and anyway, 54-year-olds make marvellous lovers, don't they? I'll take your word for it. <laughs> oh, here comes my greatest fan. Hello, ladies. If the sight of all this healthy young flesh bothers you, just say the word. That reminds me. I must get Morris that salami he likes. Hello, Roy. <laughs> remember, Zoe. What they lack in stamina, they make up for in experience. Toodaloo. <laughs> Bye, Roy. Bye, Sonia. And thanks. Must have a lot in common, you two. Yes, you know. Walking frames, ear trumpets, incontinence, conversation that flags. <laughs> How's um, Arnold? You mean Sydney? She's meeting me at the gate. Quite a kid, isn't she? You and she? Like rabbits. I meant going out. What to do with lettuce is your own affair. Ah, there she is. Just look at that. <laughs> Hi, Zoe. Hello, Sydney. How are you? Fine. Thanks to this hunky thing. Hey, how's your old bloke keeping? Great. I'm taking him to the Antiques Roadshow on Sunday. <laughs> Thank you. Zoe! Oh, Jamie? Do you fancy a lift? I'm going your way. Oh, yes. Thanks. <laughs> well, see you, Roy. Bye, Sydney. <laughs> Enjoy your carrots. Bye. <laughs> Wonderful for 54, Roy. <laughs> Roy? No, it's that. Do you live with anyone? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean... That's uh... OK. I know what you meant. I bought it with my husband. Hope I get to stay in it. Hey, I didn't ask you. Where did you get the car? Oh, uh, I found it in a car park with a key still in it. I'll take it back later. <laughs> Jamie! <laughs> it's my girlfriend's, Catherine. She lent me it. Her parents will kill her. Is she a fellow Marxist? Don't you start. I see a world where everyone has sports cars. <laughs> I'm just a few years ahead of my time, that's all. I haven't seen you since the infamous tea party. How's your sister taking it? She's beside herself, which isn't a pretty sight. <laughs> and you, what do you think? I don't know. Well, when Mum died, Dad was like a zombie. Then slowly, he got back to life again, you know, like a car crawling up a hill. Reaches the top and then sort of coasts along. Now it's downhill all the way. Sugar? <laughs> oh, yes, please. I suppose I, I just want what's best for him. And how do you know what's best for him? Oh, well, uh, well, I don't, but, um, I mean, I know him. I've known him 21 years. Man and boy. You warning me off, Jamie? God, no. Am I? If I saw you, I'd ask you out myself. <laughs> uh, um, I mean, um... <laughs> well, I wanted to see you again. Out of curiosity, Can I mean. you see me? What's the verdict? Hello, Yugoslavia. Can we have your votes, please? <laughs> have a biscuit while you're deciding. I suppose it's none of my business, really, is it? No, I suppose it isn't. Oh, great, Bourbons. <laughs> We're both grown-ups, you know. He's definitely a grown-up. <laughs> I'm glad you picked me up, though. Oh, are you? Yeah, the buses are lousy and it looked like rain. You saved me 40p. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Catherine. Oh, I like her, Zoe, I really do. It's just hard to find time to, you know, be together. 
Well, she's living with her parents, and I'm at home with Dad, and, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Why is it you make me sound like a 16-year-old? It's the teacher in me. Do 50 lines, I must not drool over women, and take a cold shower. <laughs> Hang on, it's probably my sister. Count Alec von Callender invites you to a pinner dinner tomorrow night at Callender Court. Oh. And I thought those sardines in the fridge were for me. <laughs> <laughs> if this was Dallas, there'd be dramatic music and the credits would be rolling. <laughs> As it's pinner, we'll have to have a cup of tea. <laughs> I hope there's some simple explanation <laughs> I'll take a cold shower while Jamie thinks of one. <laughs> Derek, I don't care if you did have the lights on. She's luring you. She's a... She's a... Oh, what's the word? Temptress. She's a temptress. Even Miss Flood says so. <laughs> really, our clients might like to get through occasionally. Look, I must go now, Derek. But I'm warning you. My heart's had about all it can stomach. <laughs> You know what they say? Um, oh, uh... Hell hath no fury like a woman's scorn. Hell hath no fury like a woman's corns. <laughs> oh, Mr. Fenty, I'm forlorn. Oh, Hilary. Look, this calls for positive counteraction. Do you know the Cotswolds? Oh, yeah. I think my dad plays bowls with one of them. <laughs> no, Hilary, they're a place. And I happen to have a little cottage nestling there. You know, ivy on the walls, no prying neighbours, no telephone calls. You could wake up on a Saturday morning to the dawn chorus of the birds. Well, how would that sound? Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> I can offer you the weekend of a lifetime. Now, why don't you come into my office and then we can talk about it? Oh, well, okay, Mr. Henry. <laughs> I've just got one thing to say to you. Beware the primrose path of dalliance. Oh, that's all right, Miss Flood. I always go home by bus. <laughs> Welcome, bienvenue, welcome. <coughs> welcome, bienvenue, welcome. Miss Flood. Mr. Callender, you sound like the United Nations. What on earth are you doing here? I'm sorry, Mr. Callender, but I had to come and see you. I've been wrestling with my conscience all afternoon. Goodness, have you? Well, you, you'd better come in. Now, uh, what is it, Miss Flood? Mr. Callender, I'll come straight to the point. There are emotional forces at play in the office with which I can no longer cope. Indeed. A certain intimacy can develop between a secretary and her employer. It can? And sometimes this relationship can get out of hand. <laughs> Do you not think, Miss Flood, that you're letting your imagination fly away with you a bit? I mean... I've always been very fond of you, you know, Miss Flood. Oh. oh. What's that got to do with Hillary and Mr. Henty? Hillary and Mr. Henty? Yes. They're going away together this weekend to Mr. Henty's cottage in the country. <laughs> oh, I... Yeah. Are you, are you certain about that, are you? Yes, I'm afraid so. And Hillary's such a child, and Mr. Henty isn't. No. <laughs> well, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look into that first thing tomorrow. <laughs> Now, if you'll, uh, if you'll excuse me, I... Oh, dear, I see you're expecting company. Yes, yes, I am. Uh... Well, I won't detain you any longer, then. <laughs> you see, Mr. Callender, I feel responsible for Hillary. She's such a... Yes, yes, she is, isn't she? She is. <laughs> well, thank you for coming, Miss Flood. <laughs> ah. 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 <laughs> Mrs. Angel, good evening. Hello, Miss Flood. Well, I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Miss Flood. And uh, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not a prude, you know. But young women need to be protected. <laughs> I was 
a very impressive meal, Alec. <laughs> Mind you, if I'd known, I wouldn't have had quail's eggs for lunch. <laughs> I'd have been quite happy with the takeaway. Who taught you to cook like that? Your mum. My mum? <laughs> well, I was a kid, second helpings were a punishment. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Jenny taught me. She didn't believe in takeaways. She was very French. She taught you how to eat, too. You made enough for four. Well, I was hoping Miss Flood would stay. <laughs> As a sort of chaperone, you know. Oh, do I need one? No, but I might. <laughs> you flatter yourself. Well, you know, Roy's getting ever so jealous, me going out with you. Uh, I feel very bad about Roy. Oh, Alec, the man's a walking jockstrap. <laughs> well, is that so terrible? It is when you take an assembly. <laughs> Alec, I didn't come here to talk about Roy. I came here for you. And it took you long enough to invite me. Well, in my day, when a, a man invited a girl to his house, it meant... Well, things were different then. Courting had its own rules, formalities. God, the demise of the bustle must have hit you hard, Alec. <laughs> you have a lovely house. I really like it. Ah, thank you. Jenny did most of the decor, of course. I had no head for this sort of thing. <laughs> Colour blind, window blind, the lot. <laughs> she had beautiful taste. Aye, aye, she did. Is that her picture over there? Yes, yes, it is. You know she was French, wouldn't you, just from a photo? It's the berry and the string of onions that clinch it. <laughs> you know, she spent most of her life in this country and she still spoke the most appalling English. She'd have got on well with the kids in our school. <laughs> I used to wait for her to make mistakes. I enjoyed them so much. <laughs> she used to talk about old English colonels. <laughs> Why am I talking about her now? <laughs> when I was a little girl, my dad would go out of the room and come back with a different sweater on and say it was his twin brother just arrived from Australia to see us all. <laughs> My mum would say, oh, you've just missed him, Albert. So he'd go and come back in a bit with his old sweater on and ask who we'd been talking to. <laughs> we believed for years there were two of them. <laughs> when we finally found out, it was as bad as hearing about Santa Claus. Hearing what about Santa Claus? <laughs> that there isn't one. What do you mean? There isn't one. Well, you. <laughs> Zoe, you know what I was hoping would happen tonight, don't you? Yes, Alec, I do. And you know why it can't, don't you? Mm hmm. I'm so very sorry. But, well,. The house and... I feel it too, you know. Nobody said it was going to be easy. <laughs> Best things never are. Come on. Show me how good you are with the washing up. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't really mean that, did you? About Santa Claus. <laughs> good morning, Hillary. Good morning, Mr. Clark. Lovely day. Not long to the weekend now, eh? <laughs> to ask what you're doing this weekend, Mr. Henty. Oh, really? Well, don't bother then. But I tell you, it's going to be ruddy marvellous. Oh, yes, it is, Mr. Henty. <laughs> oh, don't I know it, Hilary. <laughs> Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm sorry, Mr. Henty. I used to love their films, Miss Blood. <laughs> Especially when the big fat one would do that. Helen knows, Mr. Henty. Of course he knows, Mr. Henty. They're partners. <laughs> <laughs> knows what, Miss Blood? Temple Calvin and Henty. Good morning. Oh, yes, Derek, of course. It's Derek. I like Derek. Poor yes. man. Miss I'm Blood, excited to do that what? weekend. <laughs> you hope we can do that thing with the donkey. <laughs> oh, you are awful, Derek. <laughs> I haven't had a donkey ride since. <laughs> uh, look, I'd better go now, yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> kiss, kiss. <laughs> 
The liaison dangereuse, eh, Miss Fleur? Don't be disgusting. <laughs> Hilary, am I to understand that you're going away for the weekend with Derek? Oh, yes, Miss Flood. And it's all due to Mr. Henty lending me and Derek his cottage in the Codswallops. <laughs> good morning. Oh, good morning, Anna. Oh, Miles. I'd like a word with you, if I may, in my office. Oh, Mr. Callender, have you heard the news? What? Hilary and Derek are going to Mr. Henty's cottage for the weekend. What? Oh, Miss Flood, now what was it you told Mr. Callender? I didn't quite catch it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I told him that, um, he ought to get away for the weekend himself, didn't I, Mr. Callender? You did? <laughs> yeah, yes, you did, yes. I, I remember now. <clears throat> yeah. I still have weekends at his age. <laughs> <laughs> A weekend away? Where? Well, hotel. Away from everything. Where we could be alone, together, without... Without memories. Without complications. What are you doing this weekend? I know it's short notice, but... Oh, I'm washing my hair. <laughs> you still don't know me, do you? I want this as much as you do. Got anywhere in mind? There's a surprise. Leave it to me. Oh, will you look at that? Witness for the prosecution. Anatomy of a murder. The verdict. There goes the weekend. Oh, no. I'm made of sterner stuff. I will pick you up at 7.30 on Friday, OK? OK. I'm not rushing you, am I? Alec, there's only so much hand-holding a girl can take. about having a boyfriend that works nights is that all the other blokes around think you're fair game. Don't see anyone thinking that. Oh. How is Trevor, by the way? I never see him. Because he's always sleeping. He's a creature of the night, my Trevor. Like a mole. When do you ever... Christmas, Easter, public holidays. <laughs> no, that's not fair. He and his mates are decorating the bedroom this weekend. I couldn't stay at your place, could I? Just till the paint dries. Take it. We're going away for the weekend. Oh, where to? I don't know. It's a surprise. It'll be Brighton. It always is for that sort of thing. <laughs> what does it mean, that sort of thing? Oh, you know. So he's not taking you on a geography field trip? Oh, <laughs> Debbie, it's not like that. It's just... Well, I feel I'm competing with someone who's not even here anymore. That's why we've got to get away. Neutral territory. Well, at least he didn't say you fancy a romantic evening around the back of the bus depot. Oh, is that where you and Trevor? Every time I hear two dings on the bell, I think they're playing our song. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding. Oh, Zoe, I do love you. But you take things so seriously. Most girls will give their right arm for a weekend away. Well, a little bit more than their right arm, actually. Oh, you make it sound so seedy. It's not like that, Debs. At least I don't think it is. Is it? Ding, ding. <laughs> well, how far is this place, Alec? It's a wee while yet. We seem to have been travelling for hours. I think I've just seen some Aztecs. <laughs> Where don't you have a nap? Is it a um, big hotel? Not really. Family size. Uh huh. Pretty? Very. Do you know I've never been on a weekend like this? What do you mean? Like this? Well, you know, in the country with a gentleman. What about your husband? He wasn't a gentleman. <laughs> anyway, we couldn't afford it. Didn't Roy take you on weekends like this? I once went with him to Wales when the rugby club were playing. He went out with the lads and I stayed with his mum. She has the largest collection of hand-carved Welsh love spoons in Merthyr Tydville. <laughs> Showed it to me. Twice. Once in English, 
and once in Welsh. Well, I promise you, you won't be seeing my mum. I wonder what she'd make of me. All this. What did Jamie say? Oh, he gave me a pat on the back, then went off on one of his courses. I think he's quite proud of me. Let me have a wee nap. You're looking tired, Zoe. Well, you I mean, want to be rested. For dinner. Yeah, OK, then. Don't start without me. Right out. <laughs> Sorry. Are we here? Uh... Let's have a look then. Where are we? Beirut. Melbourne. Oh, Alec. It's your home. I told you I wasn't one for takeaways. <laughs> you see, I thought I was rejecting the past. But I'm not. I'm trying for a future. Can I ask you just one question? It's very important. Go ahead. Do I still get breakfast in bed? <laughs> Last time I came up here, you were seeing off Miss Flood. I never did find out what happened there. Well, it was very uh, involved. This time it's just you and me, babe. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? I might ask you the same question. I thought you were going away for the weekend. Oh, uh, well, um, my course was cancelled. <laughs> the speaker turned Tory. <laughs> and you? Uh, I, uh, I, f I forgot a book. <coughs> it's, um, it's in the living room. <laughs> Catherine. <sighs> Mum's the word. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I've, uh, I've got it, the book. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> well, um, we'll, uh, we'll be on our way, then. <clears throat> nice to see you again, Jenny. <laughs> have, uh, have an early night, huh? <laughs> have a good weekend. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> He's not studying too hard. He looks exhausted. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. I had no idea. Well, hotels aren't us. I have a chocolate munching sister at my place, and there's a lawyer at Calendar Court. I guess there's only one thing for it. You sure you really want to? I'm sure, Alec. You do realise you're about to make the supreme sacrifice. Let's just hope I still love you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> 